everyone and welcome to my channel Hisame Artwork and today I'm going to do the house tour this is going to be the last tour for uh, summer so a lot of you guys have asked me what is a mod what isn't a mod I think the easiest way to say it, pretty much everything has been modded uh, if something isn't modded I will tell you <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, Maru's room, and I have a mod uh, to uh, ch do some changes in her room. These are the paintings that I put each season, so I change the decorations for each season. Uh, this is the Get Dressed mod. I'll show you. So here you can change the hair. Um, I'll show you from the front. Uh, you can change the bottom part. Uh, of course, the colors, um, accessories, shirts, all of that you already know. Uh, the Get Dress mod I've shown in the other uh, videos as well. This is uh, decorations for each season, like I said. have a little calendar here. Um, some more decorations, paintings. Uh, this area here is kind of my dressing area. I have all of my hats here. The mods will be in the links below. I've made a combination of several mods. Uh, I've taken a bit from each of them. These are the shoes. They're from the game. I use the CBG item spawner here. Um, let's see. Shoes. Here you go. Uh, here's the bathroom. It's another mod. Um, the mirror here acts just like the Shrine of Illusion. Uh, it's basically a Get Dressed mod that is a lot more simpler. Um, and it comes with the bathroom, I couldn't take it out, so that was it. Uh, toilets, plants. Uh, this is the um, bathtub and it acts just like the... You can see here it regenerates my energy. And it acts just like the spa in the mountain. So this one here. Get out. Uh, this is the bedroom. Uh, that uh, dresser there doesn't do anything. It's just decorations. This one as well. I've retextured this. So it's actually a chair that I put on a um, end table. And here I retextured a couple of items. This is actually furniture, and this is the bowl, and I've changed it into a t-shirt just so it looks like I have um, items put here on the furniture. Uh, this is the uh, life elixir. I kind of turned it into a night cream, and I kind of put a mask if I want to stay pretty and young forever and ever. So this is the table. Um, I've textured it, I've put some standard items on the table, and then I just changed the middle item, and I have for each season, uh, I put maybe a roast or a uh, Easter egg. Uh, this I've reskinned so it does turn into, uh, maybe it was this one. For example, this one changes into the Easter eggs. Uh, for spring and there was put pumpkin or other things like that on the table uh, for the rest of the seasons you can find here I think this one's the chicken for winter yep there it is the chicken and this was on the winter table Uh, here is ah, so this is a fireplace. This is just a sofa uh, chair that I retextured as a fireplace. I wanted to um, have the fireplace here, but I wasn't able to move it without uh, completely crashing my game. So, this is the um, what's it called in English? China cabinet. Uh, this is a wine cabinet that I've retextured something else. So fridge here has a mod to expand it. Um, a stove and I have some extra ingredients here because they didn't all fit in the fridge. 
This is Penny's fryer. I like to pretend I could cook with that, but usually uh, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So this is the fireplace. Every texture to have like a pizza oven above because it looked really weird and useless in the kitchen right here. Um, microwave dishwasher don't actually work. They just take me to the um, stove. Uh, s and this is um, um, what's it called in English? Uh, kitchen island. And there are actually two tables that I've uh, retextured. Uh, the uh, initial mod retextured a sofa for this, but I wanted to retain its function as a table. So I uh, put the texture over two tables and put them next one next to the uh, uh, the other. So they look like one seamless uh, furniture piece. And these are some stools here. Uh, I wanted to have them like maybe have a snack at the kitchen island. Um, again, furniture decorations for each season. Uh, here is the ice cream machine maker and I can do all kinds of ice creams with it. It needs fruit and ice uh, and sugar. Uh, this is the cellar, so I've moved the casts in uh, another um, um, a shed and here I've uh, left it in empty space, so I have the casts anywhere mod and I've retextured a lot of items so I've turned it into kind of a bar area here uh, for me also there's uh, the jukebox and you can load just like in the saloon a song hopefully in the multiplayer friends will be able to come and visit me and I can uh, serve them with uh, drinks or something fun whatever they like there's also a mod that lets you make juice instead of alcohol and I look forward to trying that out at the moment it's linked with the um, longevity mod so I can't really do that I have to install the longevity mod and I don't really want to do that um, what else I had to tell you uh, this is Carmila's uh, basement uh, hopefully I'll be able to have an extended basement in the future let's see how the modding community goes uh, there have been talks to uh, have a steam workshop for the mods I really look forward to that um, yeah, and there's an event tonight, so we're gonna go to that. Ah, uh, dang it, I didn't watch the clock, and um, you may have missed the event. So let me just cheat a little bit here. I can't, I can only go at 11. Okay, so, um, in the park... At 12 o'clock, if you go, you're going to be able to get the Junimo plushie. Get a horse so I move faster. Um, let's see if we're gonna get that plushie still. Sometimes when I mess around with the time, uh, it uh, screws up things, quests, and stuff like that. Hmm, was this the... Bush, I think this was it. Okay, so almost 12, it's 40, 50. Come on, pushy. Gimme, give gimme. Give yes, it worked. So I actually have mine retextured as a bunny, but it should give you like the green Junimo plushy. So the uh, last day of each season at exactly 12 o'clock, and you get it. I, of course, already had it here, so I have two of them, so I can just throw this one out. Uh, I got that one with the item spawner. So this is the children's room. Hope you can hear me okay, let's see. Um, seems to be the music a bit loud. Turn it down a bit. 
want to make sure you guys are still able to hear me. So, um, this is the kids' room. Um, I've left some of the stuff the same, but other things I retextured. So this is a table plant. I put a pillow on the chair. I put some toys on the dresser. Uh, this uh, bed is a blue couch. I've took, I've taken out the beds here, so you can see the child still responds there sometimes and gets stuck in the furniture. But in order to save room and to have the children's room here, I've just taken out the beds and put them uh, here uh, by retexturing some of the stuff. Uh, the windows, stuff like that, you cannot take off the walls like I can here, so I can take the painting off here, but um, in this other room, the kids' room, I cannot. And that's because I've edited the um, file itself. So I put wallpaper and um, um, what what do you call it? Uh, the decorations on the wall. So they're permanent now. Uh, some of the things, you know, I can take off and put back, but uh, those there I cannot. Uh, and there's a fishbowl here that is also a mod. It's a craftable item that I have installed. Link will be in the description below, so you see you need a fish and some wood uh, for that. I'm going to try and hurry up uh, this presentation. Oh, it's getting long again. Okay, so this is the um, uh, the the TV. I have also a mod for the news installed. You don't get news on Sunday, but uh, when it does, it comes up here as uh, news. Uh, this is uh, the uh, game machines that you normally win when you beat the games at the saloon, but I use the item spawner so that I can have all of these items. Again, a pool table is made out of two tables. Um, usual furniture, uh, platonimus, um, fish plaques, uh, give you a, a mod that adds furniture uh, with fish, uh, the legendary fish, so you can brag to your friends about how you caught them. Uh, this is my music room. Again, I have decorations for each season. Uh, this is a painting I retextured, uh, dresser. This is a uh, couch, is from Amy's Victorian Furniture mod, as well as the music and the uh, table here. The, uh, it's a wizard couch, retextured as a coffee table. Again, this is a uh, miner's crest, okay, and some other paintings with butterflies. I think they're Amy's. Uh, this one is a painting from the witchy uh, furniture mod. Again, links will be in the description below. Uh, I've explained the kitchen, everything. Hope I didn't miss something. There's always something I forget. Uh, okay, so again, this is the attic added by um, I forgot the name of the modder, but links will be in the description below. And I had to edit his mod to add more windows here because he only put two windows and I couldn't have that. I need windows, more of them. So this is a the stone slab um, table and I put some stuff on it. This is the green plush seat and I made a tree with a star fruit on it. Um, this I made kind of like my office and it's just like my dream office to have references like a museum type of thing. Anything that I need to illustrate, to draw, I can just go and look at it. If I need a stone, a fish, or anything, I could just peruse through my own personal museum because I do like collecting stuff and I do like having reference items on hand. Also TV works the same. This is the furniture catalog. You can see here more of what I've done. I've turned this into a cat bed. Um, a horsey for the kids. Um, there's even some furniture items that I didn't 
uh, <laughs> use because I didn't have any more room. So this is the gaming table. You saw it before. The tables for each season. Uh, the um, kitchen island. Uh, you can get this from uh, Robin at her shop. And this is the uh, wallpaper catalog. Again, a mixture of several mods. You can get this one from uh, Pierre. And I just took different wallpaper textures from different mods and just made my own master collection. Uh, this is my chair and this is my table. You can see I can turn it into various items just by uh, changing the direction of it. But I want it to be my desk, writing desk. Here my where I can paint. I uh, have a little camera. That is the small crystal. Uh, this is the treasure. You do have it in the game. A dresser here. I put some stuff on this table. You can see um, lamps. Uh, what else do I have to do? You can take and put stuff on the end tables. Um, statues. I changed the um, what was this? Ceramic pillar and golden pillar. I changed them because the bookcases just ended too abruptly and I didn't like that and I needed something to be one slot so I can have like a S shape where I can uh, come in the, the room. Okay, I gotta hurry because we still have so many more things to show you. Oh no, I gotta put on time freeze because we're not gonna get in time. There's also the event I want to show you. Run, run fast. I'm gonna do shorter videos. I have no way to teleport to the Neko Cafe, so I gotta walk there. And you're not gonna see it during daylight. <laughs> You've seen it in the other video, so it's no mystery. This is just an update with the furniture. I uh, have a uh, summer theme everywhere so I do change it each season. Here I have some stuff that I like, can pretend to sell in a cafe. Uh, tea, coffee, stuff like that. Here I have the decorations for each season hidden away out of sight. Windows. I have this window here. I put. I changed the porthole a bit and it looks absolutely cute. Uh, here the the windows are a fake. Uh, you don't actually have windows here, so they don't change. Uh, I just put a wallpaper that looks like windows. And here are the decorations. A uh, little coffee table here. Fake cat. It's not. It's a scarecrow actually. Here I have like a little fountain inside. Beehive. It never produces honey inside. But I like to pretend like it's uh, a real beehive. Food, couch. Uh, this is the end table. It doesn't actually have any food on it. You can put stuff on it. As you can see here, it's just a texture of uh, food over it. Mm, so I had to do a lot of shortcuts and cheats so it kind of looks like it. I want it. It's the best I could do at the moment. I'm not a programmer, so I just I could only change the textures. So decorations for a season here have hidden away. Uh, food. Uh, some food here on the table. Um, here as well. This is the fried eel. Again, summer theme. Um, Cactuses, plants that are yellow or blue, coral, seashells, a lot of kitty cats everywhere because this is an eco cafe. Oops, uh, I think that was it. Uh, this is a table. Oh, it would be really nice if we had NPCs to come and sing here at night. It would be so awesome and during the multiplayer if players would be allowed to uh, play an instrument and have some music that would be really nice. I know 
The, the farmer can play the harp, so it would be really nice if we can get other players to play something. There are so many mod ideas I have, but since I can't um, program very well, actually not much at all, um, there is not a whole deal I can do in that direction except retexture some things, and it's kind of a little cheat there shortcut I don't know how else to call it uh, back home it will be called uh, Romanian inventiveness I just do anything with duct tape okay and the last two uh, in interior for you guys to see um, the uh, shed here that is on my farm this comes with the immersive farm too uh, and I made it kind of into a farmer's market type of shop and I have here the custom machines that can do a lot of stuff um, let me show you I'm gonna put some flour so this is the pasta maker pasta in there? Doesn't... what am I supposed to do? I think maybe I have to put more flour? I don't remember. Maybe it was five flour. No? Do I have to put wheat in it? Let's see. Pasta maker, what do you want? F ah, and eggs. Oh, okay. There you go. That's how it works. And it produces pasta. Um, you can't actually cook it to do anything further, but it's a nice idea. I like it. Uh, here, this is the soap machine. Gotta put the flour first, and have here tulip soap which is really nice. Too bad it's not consumable, but I'm really glad that I can still make it anyway and sell it. This is the uh, camera from Haley. I put a table here with some fish. Uh, these are all the craft items that you have available. This is uh, yogurt and you put m milk inside I think three or something like that. You have to put multiples. Uh, this is the butter. And I have been promising to change the textures on those because they're kind of brown and icky looking. Um, the modder prefers a more rustic look to it. I prefer a more crazy colored look to it. <laughs> um, this is the mayonnaise uh, mushroom maker. Uh, now this one is from the item spawner and once you place this down you cannot take it away so if you want to put this somewhere uh, be sure you don't want to move it and also do not I repeat do not put it in your um, in your uh, coop because it will crash your game uh, pickles, jellies, wine, I put here the casts uh, beer, oil, vinegar, this is again a mod uh, I have statues with all the animals here, I retextured them so turkey, peacock, piggy, chicken, sheep that sheep is not looking too good, I have to change it uh, goat, duck, cow, uh, bunny rabbit and I think that's it. I showed you the ice cream maker. Uh, I think I showed you guys pretty much everything. Uh, so I guess I can unfreeze the time. Uh, and I don't remember at what time the uh, um, event's supposed to start. I think it's maybe. 10 o'clock or 9 I think it might be 10 so I'm gonna start going uh, there let's see
see. Uh, no, if I use the teleporter, it might screw up. Not sure. Because if it's still preparing, then it's not gonna let me go there. Is this, did I come back later? Okay, so it's it's ten o'clock. Then skip. Yay! So this is the Moonlight Jelly Festival, and it took away all of the decorations that I put on there, but they should come up soon. There they are, they came back. Oh, she destroyed it. Bad jazz. <laughs> and here's Maru, retextured. I can't talk to her during the event. I wonder if the other NPCs destroyed some more stuff. So far, uh, that place there seems to be the safest where you can put a chest on the pier. Uh, also, this statue here still seems to be safe. So, uh, nobody seems to go exactly on that spot, which is nice. That is a retextured bon uh, bonfire. It gives off a faint red glow. In the winter, I've tex retextured it, so it turns into a Christmas tree. Uh, I do change the decorations for each season. And uh, I have them automated, so I have the seasonal mod which changes the uh, craftable items both indoor and outdoor so all I had to do was change the textures and they change by themselves each season oh there it is the special jellyfish uh, I don't know if it has any magical powers but there are mermen uh, in the game and there might be, el be elves as well the glow of summer has faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown how nice well that was fun thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next video